Hey, this bitch, I'm lit like a trick. Suck my dick, ho. Yo, I want to try me. What's good, nigga? Bruh, I, I literally saw this on my feed and then went to Twitter. And everybody's talking about how this video was so bad. And the, uh, this video, I mean, this Sunny V2 new upload, why Chris will soon be not, soon be a nightmare for Mr. Beast. And the whole thing with Chris, I guess he's part of Mr. Beast's team. I don't watch Mr. Beast. But apparently, you know, he transitioned to a man, to a woman, which is fine. Who cares? But I guess Sunny V2 has an opinion on how it might ruin Mr. Beast's like, I guess, I guess I'm assuming brand or something like that. But yeah, I, I've been seeing like, as literally Sunny V2 is trending, like on Twitter. I just literally like looked it up and I saw a JR retweet about it. And I was just like, okay, let me, let me react to this shit and see what's going on and get my own opinion on it. Cause I'm like, this shit ridiculous though. But yeah, we gonna get into the reaction real quick. The Chris Tyson situation could become a complete disaster for Mr. Beast brand. However, it may also provide some unique benefits. So let's begin by going over the drama before explaining exactly how this will impact the Mr. Beast channel. In mid-2022, fans began to notice that Chris Tyson was changing. In the early days, he represented the quintessential southern gun and truck-loving dude. Yet beginning in March 2022, Chris began to display increasingly feminine traits, making tweets such as I finally got my nails done at a nail tech. Additionally, Chris would highlight that his facial appearance had changed significantly since the start of the pandemic, which accompanied another post reading, okay, so in four different customs, I had to prove I was myself because I quote, look nothing like my passport pic, so much that I'm considering updating my passport. Do you see any resemblance? Prompting replies such as you went from man to boy. Chris responded by stating, nah, to be honest, I just really started taking my mental health seriously and eating better. Yet his Twitter photos kept insinuating that Chris was becoming more feminine, with this same kind of look showing up in his Mr. Beast appearances. For example, on the 6th of January 2023, Beast Reacts uploaded a video titled I Strapped a GoPro to a Fish, in which Chris dressed in a way that prompted comments such as, Chris has been adopting more and more traits that remind me of my grandmother. Okay, so some people just gonna ignore Chris's nails. Chris had to have lost a bet. The look is getting wild. Lost the bet? Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna pause through this video. I'm gonna let y'all know. Just let y'all know right here, right now. Pause through this video to have get my get my points off. But from what I'm seeing, like, bro, it's just becoming more feminine. I mean, there's such thing as a femme boy. People, boys that are paint their nails. I've shoot. Let me let me expose myself. I've done it before. I paint my nails. Before. I, I did it like just to do it on a whim, and I just did it because it's like college or whatnot. But I mean, it's just. What painting nails? Like, okay. I'm trying to see like what's the what's the big controversy, but I'm only like a minute and twenty seven in right now. It's a nine minute video, so we're gonna get into this all be too long. Response to the video then prompted countless viral TikToks, such as this one with 700,000 likes, stating how did Chris go from this to this, while others even made the claim that Carl had turned him gay. Now, this was pretty ridiculous as Carl isn't even that feminine, and Chris had come out as bisexual years before he and Carl had even met. The true catalyst for Chris Tyson's feminization instead seemed to have come from his marriage. In January 2022, Chris would post a photo with his wife to his Instagram, yet Yet after this, the family photo stopped altogether. Fans also noticed that he'd removed his wedding ring, with the ring's absence correlating perfectly with the oh. very first post in which he'd painted his nails. Chris confirmed the split in a post from March 2023 reading, For a little over a year now, me and Katie have been separated, with this also confirming that Chris's transformation began as soon as his marriage came to an end. Chris went from lighting campfires and raising a family with his beautiful wife, to now trying to be a wife with his man buns and long nails. As the criticism continued to pile, Chris announced that he'd be taking a break from social media. I and while there was a possibility shit. that Chris would make efforts to return to his former self, he'd rather do the opposite and double down on his feminine image, showing up to the Kids' Choice Awards looking like this, before making the announcement that he'd been doing HRT for approximately two months, mm. which according to a quick Google search is the medical process for changing genders. Chris would expand on this by stating, informed consent HRT saved my 
my and many others lives. The hurdles GNC people have to jump through to get life-saving gender-affirming healthcare in a first world country is wild to me. Just let people make informed decisions about their own bodies, which received a positive response from both Carl and Mr. Beast, who wrote, got you, I did one more heart than Carl because I'm a better friend. <laughs> While his co-workers expressed positivity, others weren't so welcoming. There goes a father figure the kid won't ever be able to look up to. Hard times create strong men, strong men create good times, good times create weak men, and weak men create hard times. Oh my god, who, does, who the fuck this nigga live with, Ethan? Nigga, did you buy your fucking verification badge, bro? Like, what? <laughs> I don't... Sometimes I be wondering why niggas be talking about shit, because I be like, what is, what is him having to transition? How can he... He could still be looked up to as a parental figure, no matter if he's he or she, they transition towards woman to man or man to woman. Like you can still look up to that person. Like it's not a, it shouldn't be an issue. Like what? times. Chris responded to this comment by stating, this is just more dog whistling that somehow trans and GNC folks aren't safe around kids. Tucker begs for me to come back when I leave for like two days to film. He is so loved and happy. Kids aren't born with hate, it's taught by people like you, and my child will only know love. I know I'm going to be a great it's parent, not a big, and so it's is really every not a big person deal, who puts bro. the love of their child before everything. I made this decision because I wanted to show up as my best and happiest self for him. In a way, this was for Tucker. Chris's response received some positivity such as I'm convinced you're an amazing father Tucker is lucky to have you and also lucky to have all of those who surround and support you in his life as well as I adore that I'm glad you made that decision it's so much easier to be a parental figure when you're not struggling with dysphoria yet he'd also receive an equal amount of backlash of you ripped apart your family and took a father figure away from your son just so you could paint your nails and act zesty pathetic he will get torn apart at school won't want to have friends around his house a life full of difference and being alone must have missed the point in that tweet how's this for him when you're depriving him of a father figure and my thing is what what defines a father figure to these people like the the typical uh messy hair uh, messy beard uh plain white t-shirts and and blue jeans ass niggas that be what playing video games or like he like like what is the what is the the ideal father figure that's my thing because i'm just like i'm trying to figure that out because i don't see an issue i don't see an issue because i don't really care because it's like if they want to live their life why, why don't they just live their life the way they want to and when you yell at their you yell at they're not gonna be there for their son that's my that's my issue because it's like they could easily just Go up and leave and just not care about the little nigga at all. But the fact that he's also transitioning while also being there for his son says a lot about him than it does about y'all speaking on what he got going on. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying, but it's that's kind of weird to me, but I don't know. Although Chris wasn't altered by these comments, as he'd once again reiterate his certainty in a new post reading, it's never too late to start being yourself, which received praise from Mr. Beast as well as Nolan and Carl. However, these comments also added extra fuel to the fire. In a few years, look back at this thread and remember they were never your friends. Only yes men cowards. Hope you come out of this safe. Mr. Beast responded to this with a simple... <laughs> Opinion irrelevant. I have 30 followers, so go ahead and ratio me. I'll still rest easy knowing that I'm not a coward who idly sits by watching my friend ruin his own life. In some ways, it was nice to see the boys standing up for Chris on Twitter. However, the situation has already begun to change the dynamic within the videos. For example, in a recent live stream titled Opening a Thousand Mystery Art Boxes, Chris would once again say for the Hey, um, I forgot to add it to the end, so I'm gonna add it right now. Um, my thing was like, y'all do not know what these people are going through. That's my thing. It's like people be going through so much shit or people, y'all be thinking y'all know these people just because y'all watch these niggas videos. Y'all do not know niggas, bro. What niggas go through behind the videos, behind closer. Y'all be assuming that, oh, uh, just by fucking Twitter posts and threads and tweets that y'all know niggas. Y'all don't know niggas. Stop acting like y'all do. This is why... This is why it's the weird thing with like the internet, because it's like people will be talking about niggas that they don't know nothing about. They just watch the nigga videos, bro. 
you have a connection. You you know them on you know them through a video. You don't know them in real life. Videos aren't real life, and that's why people they need to get that through y'all freaking heads, bro. Because it's like, let him do what he want to do, bro. Just let him do what he want to do. It's his life. If he if he goes down five years later and regrets it, that's his life. People make mistakes. Not saying that what he's doing is a mistake, but who knows? Who knows what's going to happen? My thing is let people live their lives, bro. In peace. In freedom. God damn, bro. I swear, half y'all niggas would, would live y'all lives so much better, would be probably even more successful if y'all just mind y'all own fucking business, man. Like, damn. A feminine way and while everybody participated as usual the energy and vibe didn't feel nearly as smooth as it normally does it felt as though there was an unaddressed elephant in the room and therefore everybody was in their head as opposed to being in the present moment enjoying each other's company maybe everybody was simply too busy opening packages but chris did make these bizarre jokes about jimmy being female making him incredibly uncomfortable oh my god jimmy look they drew you jimmy they drew you so well it looks just like you. Oh, yes. Oh, my God, it's well, Jimmy. How did fan art This is what we were looking for. Be brave, be honest, be kind, Mr. 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 That is my tagline. Becoming even weirder when each member started to pay each other compliments. Hey, nice shirt. Thanks, dude. Nice shirt. Hey, nice shirt. Oh. Thanks, dude. Nice shirt. Thanks. Nice shirt. Nice shoes. For the most part, the live stream was devoid of awkward moments. However, it would act as fodder for another 100 million views worth of drama and criticism. Chris likely believes that people will slowly adapt to his new appearance over time, but is this really going to happen? Well, maybe. It's difficult to say as the situation is fairly unique, especially when considering Chris's reputation and influence. However, if Chris continues to transition, would it be unreasonable to say that he could jeopardize some of the personality traits which made him a successful member in the first place. Perhaps the opposite will happen and he'll instead pick up new personality traits that better resonate with the current Mr. Beast audience. This was put forward in many comments supportive of Chris who implied that there'll be millions of queer kids who look up to him, although this doesn't necessarily mean that it'll add any value to the videos. Mr. Beast has likely cultivated a massive LGBT audience, all of whom are already watching anyway, and if we've learned anything from Hollywood in recent years, it's that adding over-the-top LGBT characters for the sake of relatability rarely works as intended and is often nothing more than a distraction from the premise of the movie or video. On top of this, it can be uncomfortable and unrelatable for the silent majority, although as we have seen, a situation like Chris's does have the potential to create an otherworldly amount of discussion, which could be seen as a benefit for the Mr. Beast brand. Drama is good for growth, 100%. That would be an easy way to up my so you're a key star The problem is this type of situation is probably the last thing that Mr. Beast wants to attract as he's forced to agree with Chris's position as he has no way of manipulating the situation without being painted as the... Or maybe, just maybe, his friend just transitioned and he wants to respect that and be a good friend while also having his probably his own opinions about it whether he can't really relate to chris he can also still be there for him for them so i don't i don't really i'm not really getting the point here i think this is what people are talking about with this video because you're trying to act, say try to make it seem like oh is this but is this good for Mr. Beast? Is this good for uh, his brand? It's like, I don't think Mr. Beast really cares. I mean, I could I could see where you're coming from. Like, if you was, if you was Mr. Beast thinking like in this like whole, like, I'm all thinking about the brand type mindset. But I feel like it's just him. It could, I feel like at this, at the simplest thing, it could be just him just trying to be there for his friend. That's what I'm seeing, but. Hey, that's, that's all. 
bad guy. It's a lose-lose situation for Mr. Beast. I think Jimmy is in an inescapable is situation. Lose, lose? If he kicks out Chris, cancel. If he don't, his channel will die for real. An inescapable situation is a pretty good way of describing the drama, which is also <laughs> what? Oh, no. the harsh label of being a nightmare. Jimmy has no option but to publicly express acceptance of Chris's transition. A silence or even worse, disapproval would come with obvious severe repercussions. However, in accepting Chris's transition, Jimmy implies that this will be the new normal within the content, thus annoying a different group of people, many of whom will never express their true feelings and may rather simply click on fewer Mr. Beast videos. If this is the case, Jimmy has no option Cares, but to though. accept this fate, as removing Chris from the videos in any kind of way could create an even more severe media firestorm. The only clean solution, should things go south, might be for Chris to resign himself, and even then, rumors and bad press will be unwilling. Resign himself be because he's or ignorant, trans. Chris seems oblivious to how this whole thing might impact Jimmy, forgetting that he achieved his current level of success by avoiding okay. this exact okay. type. Okay, okay, okay. I get it now. I get it. I'm done with the video. I'm not liking this bitch. I get it why people are mad at this video. I understand now. I understand completely. This video is kind of like tone deaf. Not even kind of. I think it pretty much is tone deaf. Because it's not even about. It's not even about like the brand of Mr. Beast and Friends or whatever. Because like I said, I don't watch Mr. Beast. But I think it's just. Obviously, Chris is part of the group. He transitioned. And while Mr. Beast still wanting him to be a part of the group, allowed him to be part of the group with his current feminine features, feminine look. I don't, yeah, this, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely seeing why people hate this video and why he's trending on Twitter. Because this video is just weird. It's just kind of like disregarding the fact that Mr. Beast might be trying to be a good friend. And it's not about, it's not about the brand of Mr. Beast. It's about him being there for somebody that's obviously going through a big change in their lives. I don't know. I just, and with the whole Mr. Beast, like, I feel like Mr. Beast is, has been more talked about, like, throughout, like, this year and, like, past year. Because, like, he's been helping out people. And everybody's like, oh, Mr. Beast is weird. Why are you helping all these, all these blind people? Da -da -da, all this, all this stuff he's done to help people. And he still get criticized for it. And even with this, he's still, he's trying to be there for his friend and is still getting criticized for it. And then say, oh, Mr. Beast is going to drop in views because Chris. Like, I doubt that Mr. Beast really cares. And I really, I honestly doubt Mr. Beast is going to really feel that, that, that hurt. Because it's Mr. Beast. Like, he's one of the biggest YouTubers on the platform. So if anything, with all this stuff, it probably, it, it, in some instances, it probably gets more people to watch his videos rather than, uh, the views are going to drop because of Mr. Beast, da, da, da. He might bring in a whole new audience that's willing to accept Chris's transition and that'll be fine. But, man, I don't know. I don't even know about this video. This video kind of, it's kind of weird. This is, and I like Sunny V too. Like, I like his videos. His videos are pretty good. And now I'm just, I'm questioning it because I don't know, like, why he made this video. Like, what was there? There's no need to make this video. But, I don't know. Well, if, you know, if you want to talk in the comments, you know, let me know how y'all feel about this video. Um, like if you like. Uh, comment. Subscribe. And until then. I'll see y'all niggas.